Well, hello everybody, everyone. Welcome to my channel. And selamat datang di game Horizon Forbidden West. Ya. Yeah. Uh, jika ada audio yang memang mengganggu, itu karena PlayStation gua udah mulai agak rewel. Mau diganti ke PS5 kayaknya. <laughs> Oke okay, lanjutkan saja cerita dari Aloy Sepertinya gue akan mainin side questnya dulu Baru habis itu gue akan mainin Main quest Ya yeah, dia. So Apa kabar semuanya Balik lagi balik lagi uh, Gue insya Allah sehat ya yeah. Semoga kalian juga sehat Ya yeah. Kalau sakit Semoga sembuh. Oh ya, jangan lupa COVID masih melanda ya, masih banyak COVID. Jadi jangan jangan terlalu terbuai dengan nuansa nuansa. Oh, puasa nih udah nggak ada COVID COVID masih ada ya, masih ada. Jadi COVID itu masih ada dan jaga diri, jaga kesehatan gitu ya. Sambil nonton film gua, ah, ayo nonton game gua. <laughs> bisa aja bisa aja ini bagus banget kalian kalau yang masih sakit atau kalian baru terkena yang namanya covid semoga kalian cepat sembuh ya karena covid itu udah mahal udah mahal ya udah mahal covid itu udah mahal mahal itu lebih ke obat-obatnya dan mahal apa susah itu untuk sehatnya tuh susah kembali normal itu susah jadi semoga kita doakan Ya. Oke. Saya sempat gua udah agak ada mandi dikit. Uh, bentar dulu ya. Oke. Biar agak ada man PS4 gue. Bukan buat gue tapi PS4 gue. Uh, kita ke sini ya kita ke sini kita mau ambil atau berkunjung atau mau mainin misinya set quest misinya set quest ngomong apa aku aku mau apa ngomong apa ini udah diambil oke okay. wings to fly Baca tu up ah jebur oh wih ni apa buat ikan cara mancing di sini gimana sih caranya? Gua nggak tahu. Kalau yang tak kasih tahu ya cara mancing ikan di sini gini. Ini kayak gini nih. Gua nggak tahu cara mancingnya gimana. Oh, ada parimanta. Tapi gua nggak tahu cara mancing ikannya gimana. Sunwing. There, on the beach. Come scout. I need to get closer. See if he's carrying a relic of Jomar legend. Oh, ada mayat. Ada mayat guys. <coughs> ada mayat guys. Can't be Jomar's brother. I should take a look around. See if I can find anyone else. See if I can find find one else. Tanya, kita cari. I should check if one of them is Jomar's brother. But I need to get rid of those machines first. Anjur. Gimana caranya ke atas itu berarti? Aduh. Gimana caranya? Oh, dari sini. Nih. Ada tuh. Ya, kawan deh. Oke, 
Oke, okay, kamu tidak bisa menyerangku karena aku lebih kuat daripada yang kau kira. Lu ini robot ganggu juga nih yang nih. Nah. Nah. Mati. Ada robot bodoh. Mana lagi? Oh ini dia. Entah dia kayaknya seperti yang kata atau bagaimana. Oh. Ya. Kenapa dia? Kamu baik-baik saja, robot. Sepertinya kamu tidak baik-baik saja. Burung santai banget. Not sure if either of them are Oris, but maybe one of them dropped it as they fought off the machines. My focus might show me more. Huh? Nothing. Maybe my focus can pick up their tracks instead. I'll save the extra stock for later. There. Maybe Oris escaped the machines. Better see where it leads. Oh, ke sana. Hmm. Ini kah? Empat ke sini, ke sini, ke sini, ke sini, ke sini. Ah, mana lagi? Sini, sini. Ah, mana lagi? Machine. It looks like it gave chase, but Oris fought it off. Wah. I can't override that machine until I find the right cauldron. It looks like he ran inside the tower. Probably to escape those sun wings up there. Tracks end here. They must have climbed up this tower. Sun wing? You're dead. Ah! Eh. Mana sih? Kill. You're dead, boy. Eh? Kenapa? Oh.
Oh kok ada dua sekarang? Eh kok banyak sekarang? Mana kamu? Ah. Eh. Kenapa jatuh? mati ya di mati kayaknya tuh robot waduh ah apa sih Anjur. Eh, kenapa sih? Ye. Yeah. Ini kenapa ya? Bukan karena PS bukan ya? Neran dah kalau sama PS ku. Berubah lagi dong. Gua harus beli PS 5 Tinggi banget towernya Maybe you going to outside Oh Tempat. Ayo, Aloi, kamu pas bisa, Lui. Aloi, Aloi, maju Loi. Tempat Loi, yo Loi, lagi Loi. Ayah, Loi, 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 Loi. Loi jangan Loi, jangan macam-macam Loi. Lompat lagi Loi. Ancat Loi. 
Okay, man. Tul, tukan tul, tukan tul. Ala. Must be yours. But there's only one way to be sure. I better check for the relic. Ayo, coba cek. Bener. Bener dong. The relic. And my focus picked up data on it. It's not a beacon. It's a tourist map of San Francisco. Oh, tourist map. If the Quen could read this, they wouldn't need to send scouts out blind. I should tell Alva. Hey, Lloyd. I'm here. Alva. I found some data I think Bohai might be interested in seeing. Bohai. I'm sending it to you now. I'll pass it along. Thanks. Bohai. This relic back with me. Give it back to Jomar. Along with the bad news. Jaraknya jauh ya. Oh nggak deh. Dekat 300. Ayahnya dekat. Oh tidak, aku tidak nyampe. Sepertinya aku tidak sampai. Oh no. Ah, aku dia sampai. Ah, nyangkut aku. Oke. Okay. Eh, uh, ini. Yep. Hi. You returned. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. How did he die? The tower was a sunwing nest. He went in there looking for cover, but he was holding on to that when I found him. Horace. I read the data on it. It had a map that can help your people get the lay of the land without Risking more scouts. All of us sharing it with Bohai right now. It's a good thing your brother protected it. I'd trade all the data in the legacy to have my little brother back. But I'm glad that something meaningful came from his death. As promised, you now have access to my weapon stock. If you bring me the right resources, I can make you anything you see there. Actually, why don't you give this a try? One of our best. And if it's of use, you know where to find more. Thank you. I'm really sorry for your loss. I know you are. And I'm grateful. Dapat senjata. Kita lihat senjatanya. Uh, oh Rob Caster. Hmm, mau, 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 mau. Ku pasang ke mana ya? Rob Caster sini aja deh. Rob Caster. Oh salah. Lo ini Rob Caster. Yang ku pasang tadi mana ini? Ini ya. Eh sorry, ini. Hmm. Ah. Salah. 
Okay. Kita pergi ke sini. The main story. Eh, lompat. Scan. Baru dua per satu menit. Ayo. Kita mainin main questnya. Oh. I'm telling you, the old ones put blades on their feet and. Oh, good. I was hoping we could talk. What's wrong with your shoulder? Yeah, it hurts a little. Yeah, maybe a lot. What'd you do? Well, I tried to arm wrestle with Catalo. Yeah, maybe that wasn't such a great idea. I was just curious to see if that new arm of his was as strong as it looked. Turns out it really is. I have to go. I'll be waiting for your call. God damn. Your call. Your call. Hoo-ha. Hoo-ha. That was a secret door over here. I know it, but I could reach that. Wah! Eh, gemini, gemini, gemini. Kita akan naik burung. Welcome back. Welcome back, yo motherfucker. Eh. There we go. More data for the dome. Thank you. Whoa. Hello, Aloy. Hey, Gaia. So, uh, me and Beta, I guess you heard what happened. Yes. I am continuously impressed by the complexity of human relationships. Despite the unpleasant circumstances that led to your quarrel. I am pleased to see you have both found an agreeable resolution. Well, two heads are better than one, right? Yes, I believe so. Are you ready to depart for Cauldron Gemini? Or we can continue our conversation, if you like. Um. Uh... So, about Beta. I never really saw the difference between us, until now. She's been through so much. 
completely alone. You have both endured many hardships. Different in almost every respect, yet equally remarkable. I like to think of you as two miracles, born of Elizabeth Sobeck. Three, then. Let's not forget about you, Gaia. When I set out to find a way to bring you back, I never thought we'd be here, like this. Among friends. They have all come a long way with their improvised educations. Varl has suggested that one day we might extend this model to more tribal inhabitants, once the biosphere has been stabilized. Yeah, that's not such a bad idea. As long as you're the one running the lessons. So what will happen to this place, while we're at Gemini? All systems within this facility will continue to operate. As Minerva will no longer be masking this location, the facility will be exposed to detection. Though without my presence, it is unlikely to attract attention. Let's hope so. Gaia? What was Elizabeth like? Her presence is interwoven with my memories. The moment I came online, she was there. We exchanged greetings, names, then set to our task. It was the first of many conversations. I enjoyed being in her company, listening to her stories. She was my creator, my guide. Your friend? Yes. When I reviewed the data on your focus, I was saddened to learn of her fate. Though I am glad she made it home. I deeply wish she did not have to be alone. She was okay with that. She gave all of herself. Did all that she could. Thanks, Kai. Okay, people. It's time to head out. I'll get everyone together. Connections in place. Booting up. Beta, Aloy. I am fully installed on this core and ready to connect to the Cauldron Network. It's good to hear your voice. Aaron, everyone. Fire your pulses and sound off. I'm at my Cauldron. This thingy, it's blinking. Did I do it right? In position at my cauldron. My mm. pulse generator is blinking also. That means they're working. I'm in position and mine is too. Mine as well. Okay. Radio silence until oh I get the all clear. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Signing off. Damn, I love that. Ingatkan gua sama Mas Effect. Let's cage the beast. Connecting to the Cauldron Network now. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega clearance. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega clearance. Clearance confirmed. Did you make up double? Oke, okay, lo mau kayak gitu, hah? Lo mau kayak gitu? Nang! Oh no! Yeah, I know! Fall! Anjing, tak dulu, sabar. Oh, masih. Oh. You two okay? Still breathing. Hey, boy. Hephaestus can't escape, but it must have fled deeper into the facility. Make it retreat to the core. Oh. Oh. You don't have Festus. I'll find another way over. Uh. 
Aloy, I'm attached to your focus feet. You should know there's a huge power draw coming from the next chamber. Thanks for the heads up. I'm almost there. It's some kind of production chamber. Festus is up to something, all right? <clears throat> what, what kind of machine is he trying to build? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm gonna shut it down. I bet those metal carriers were looking into where it's getting materials from. I bet that's where Festus is hiding, too. Hmm. I tapped into the core's network hub. I 
managed to disrupt Festus' control of the node. You should be able to override it now. Nice. Thanks. It fled to another chamber. Well, I better not get comfortable. <clears throat> A passé. I know it. I know it. I believe in in you. Ah, burung ini. Go again. Thank you. 
Okay. Hey, this is running out of places to hide. Uh, Aloy, I just registered a huge energy surge back in the production chamber. Something big is happening. Here too. Everything's glowing. The machine that Festus was building. It must have finished it. Sending Hephaestus back to you. Wow. Epic, bang at eh. No more hiding, Hephaestus. Facility core. Got it. Hephaestus is back 
in the core. Make sure it stays there. I'm heading back. And then we can start the merge. Because of you, Beta. I'm glad you came along. And you, Varl. We couldn't have done any of this without you. Right back at you, Aloy. Hmm. How? Oh, that's me. with the merge it's all set up Gaia establish the link please done okay to complete the merge we need to excise Hephaestus' malicious code. Carefully. Jesus. Redundant copy. You cost us quite a lot of time. Eric, get beta. And squash that bug while you're at it. Get Gaia and Hephaestus ready for transport. Tilda! I failed. Hush. All is not lost. Tilda! What the hell are you doing? Stop her!
Beta. Where is she? Alive. And while she isn't where she wants to be, not in urgent danger. We must discuss how to get her back, of course, after you've shaken off the cobwebs. When you're ready, take the stairs down the hall and, and come see me. In the meantime, I'll make breakfast. Breakfast? Okay. What? Oh, where am I? The hell is this? What was all this for? Some kind of survival bunker. What is this? Just a few favorites from my collection. Rescued and stored here just before I went off world. Oh, going at the forbidden do what? If you like. I'm curious to hear your impressions. My friend is dead. Beta and Gaia are gone, and you want me to look at old paintings? Don't be so quick to dismiss the comfort we can find in art. Or the insight we might gain. Same art. Oh, what? Really? My favorite pairing on the left is "Woman Reading a Letter" by Vermeer, a true master, and on the right is a forgery, "Woman Reading Music." <laughs> which fooled experts into believing it was a priceless original. Early in my career, I became fascinated with such deceptions. Eventually, I developed scanning software that could detect fakes with unparalleled accuracy. Is that how you made enough money to buy your way onto the Odyssey? Oh, no. I made my real fortune later. with him. Though the two must remain apart, her love will forever burn. Wait a minute.
Haha. <laughs> okay. This is Rembrandt painting Jeremiah, a man in mourning. Mourning what? His home. The ancient city of Jerusalem. He foresaw its impending doom but could do nothing to prevent it. So instead, he saved its treasures from destruction, just as I saved these works. You could say we're kindred spirits. A portrait of the painter, Rembrandt's son Titus, depicted in the habit of a monk. I don't get it. Why would someone like you, with infinite resources, care about this painting of... a boy in a hood? It's not the image itself, but the feeling it conveys. The face is bright and defined, but his eyes are downcast, heavy with misfortune. And the background seems to swallow all light. The painting is infused with a sense of loss. I guess I understand how the painter feels. Rembrandt's The Night Watch, by far the most famous painting my homeland ever produced. It was commissioned to honor a militia made up of influential citizens. I guess you must have been an influential citizen. In my day. But not as influential as you've been in this new world. Gust by Willem van de Velde, the most famous of his many maritime paintings. A ship crossing into the unknown. I guess you're familiar with that. Indeed, which is why I appreciate this composition in particular. Though waves and wind threaten to destroy the ship, it perseveres, clinging to the light even as darkness closes in all around it. golden age. This is Von Vianen's lidded ewer, molded from a single sheet of silver. What was it for? How like Elizabeth you are. <laughs> Function over form. Its practical purpose was less important than its meaning. Von Vianen created it in honor of his late brother, who himself was a famous silversmith. A memorial? Yes. Such beauty from sorrow. Done so soon? I've got more important things to worry about. We both do. There is much we are trying to save. Not the least of which is in that vault. There's nothing wrong with savoring such treasures for a moment more. Or come upstairs and we'll get down to business. Your choice. There you are. Feeling better? How did you find us at the cauldron? And what did you do to everyone right before I passed out? All business, I see. Well, suffice it to say we were keeping a very close eye on Hephaestus, knowing we would need it at some point. Your ruse didn't fool us, and as for 
my little trick. It was an overload of the senses, accompanied by an energy discharge. Gerard and Eric were only momentarily disoriented due to their shields, but it, it rendered you unconscious while I got you out. Perhaps some breakfast might steady you a bit? Why you so care about me? Why? This is your house. The one you recreated for Beta. In the data channel you shared. How perceptive of you. Please, this way. After everything your people have done? You think I'm just gonna sit down and have a chat with you? They're not my people. They never were. Especially not now. You shot off into space with them. And lived with them for a thousand years before coming back. So what made you suddenly turn on them? Quite simply, this. Wait. My old focus. You repaired it? But that means you've seen incredible things. What you've accomplished in two decades of life. Oh, A thousand years at my back and I haven't even come close. Oh no. I'm sorry if I invaded your privacy. But I had to. In order to understand. To be enlightened. You truly are... Elizabeth's blood. With her drive, her sense of mission, her integrity. Watching all this shamed me for the company that I've kept. Having seen it, all I want is to help you. Even if it means stopping your friends? Especially so. Please, sit down. Ah, oh, word. There. That's better. Now, we must recover Beta and Gaia at all costs. By now, you must know that Gerard intends to use Gaia to reboot the Earth's biosphere. Remaking this world to specifications that would only suit us immortals. This process will kill every living thing on the planet. He calls it a clean install. Man, I love I love doing this like uh smaller but uh, yeah. Not if I stop him first. <clears throat> if we do. And once he and the others are gone, we can work together to fulfill Elizabeth's dream. I'm sure Beta told you that there's a build of the Apollo database on board our ship. A complete collection of human knowledge. With that and Gaia, we could do everything Elizabeth wanted. Heal the biosphere, educate the people of this world, uplift them. Create the world she imagined. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. From what I've seen, your friends are invincible. I do wish you would stop calling them my friends. And they're not invincible. In fact, a friend of yours has found a way to defeat them. Silence. Oh, he's been a busy bee, building an army powerful enough to crash through Gerard's precious base. Yeah, Regala and her rebels. Even now she's preparing a final march on the Tanakh the capital. When she wins, she'll have the entire tribe under her control. Hundreds of warriors and machines to throw at the base. She's been duped. They'll all perish, of course. But it should be enough to break Gerard's defenses and allow silence to kill him. Along with all the others. Using the new weapon he's developed. Yes, he's found a way to circumvent our shields. Truly an exceptional man. He's planned for everything. 
except you and me. You see, while his army is battering down Gerard's doors, you and I will sneak in through a back way, one that only I know about, while Silence and my friends are busy battling each other. We'll take back Beta and Gaia. I told you I want to help you. I mean it. Whoa, whoa, control, whoa. <laughs> you said Beta is not in urgent danger. So what are the Zeniths doing to her? Putting her to work. Merging Hephaestus with Gaia. A difficult, time-consuming task, as I'm sure you know. They will compel her if need be. But her life is not in danger. She's the only one who can do it. Because you people made her to be nothing but a tool. Gerard's idea, not mine. They always viewed me with suspicion when I attempted any form of kindness towards her. That's why I created the Data Channel. A virtual place where we could speak in peace. So this channel you shared with Beta, none of the other Zeniths ever found out about it. Gerard believes he's the most cunning of all of us. Even after a thousand years, he still can't imagine that I would outwit him. The channel allowed me to interact with Beta away from their mistrustful eyes. It offered us a chance to be ourselves. Until you cut off all contact. Yes, though it pained me. I was worried that our meetings would do her more harm than good. She felt like you tossed her aside. I was afraid the others would find out and punish her. She may not have had the comforts of friendship anymore, but at least I ensured she was safe. I know it seems harsh, but you must believe that her well-being has always been paramount to me. Why did you make the data channel look like this place? I built this house as a shelter to weather any storm. A safe place. Not just for me, but for the art stored below. Cultural artifacts of incalculable value. Truly, some of the greatest achievements of human civilization. And you wanted Beta to see them? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold and technical. I thought if she could experience Vermeer and Rembrandt, it would bring something else into her life. A heritage every bit as valuable as the scientific and technical data being drummed into her. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret sharing this house with her. She needed its shelter even more than I did. Beta told me your colony was destroyed. That you came back to Earth because you had nowhere else to go. It's true. After we reached our destination, a planet in the Sirius star system, we spent decades building a new home. The physical constraints of Earth, the boundaries of mortality, gone think of what we could have done with it. It might have been a utopia. Instead, we stagnated, absorbed in effortless comforts and virtual realities. It took a cataclysm to finally yank us out of our stupor. What happened? A massive geological event. We knew of instabilities in the planet core, but we underestimated them. By the time the collapse was upon us, it was too late to stop it. Only a few of us made it to the ship in time. We set course for Earth, the only safe harbor left to us. Which you decided to make unsafe for anyone else. Not me. Gerard. He believes it's better to wipe the canvas clean than work around the smudges. No more primitive tribes, no more combat machines, only a blank slate to do with as he pleases. But we will stop him. All we have to do is get into that base. What exactly is your plan to sneak into the Zenith base? We will make use of a lesson I learned from an early age. Always know your exits. In this case, a place where Gerard's new construction meets the ancient foundation, 
a passage that only I can access. When Silence flings his army at the base, we will enter through this back door, bypassing most of the fighting. The distraction will provide us with a window in which to rescue Beta and Gaia. Once we're inside the base, where will we find Beta and Gaia? Here, in the command center. By then, Gaia will have been reunited with all of its subordinate functions, including Hephaestus. What about the Alpha build of Apollo on your ship? A simple matter of recovery once the others have been dealt with. With that in hand, we'll have everything we need to make this world as it should be. My old focus. How did you find it, let alone repair it? When we encountered you at the Hades Proving Lab, Gerard saw you as a redundancy. I knew better. You were a revelation. After your dramatic escape, bravo, by the way. Gerard and Eric assumed you were dead and gave up the hunt. I wasn't so sure. When the others were busy, I returned to the lab and searched for any trace of you. That's when I found this little treasure. Not easy to repair, but certainly worth the effort. As I watched your life unfold, you were like a splash of color on a worn canvas. What Liz was, and more. Did you show it to the others? Of course not. It was your actions that inspired me to defy them. It's worth noting that if I hadn't found it and watched its contents, I wouldn't have known to save you at the cauldron. You'd be dead. So I should be grateful? If you like. So you know all about me. What about you? What would you like to know? Well, start with your life on Earth. When I was eight, terrorists flooded my home city. Thousands drowned, my parents included. I was one of the few who survived. My guardian sent me to boarding school. Among my peers, I was the strange girl, the orphan to be avoided. All because of circumstances beyond my control. Oh, so we're a lot alike, huh? Aren't we? You are an outcast. But you didn't let that stop you from getting what you needed. Neither did I. I climbed my way out of desolation and used my wits to build a fortune. First from the technical analysis of art and the detection of forgeries. Profitable expertise in those days. But as it turned out, the software I developed was even more useful for counterintelligence. From there, it was only a short step to gathering extremely valuable intelligence on my own. You were a spy? More like a service one could turn to for information. I had to remain anonymous, of course, to protect my privacy. But despite that anonymity, Far Zenith inevitably sought me out. What happened when Far Zenith approached you? They painted an irresistible vision of humanity's future. One where we need not fear illness or death, where we explored the furthest reaches of the stars and thrived. It was only later that I realized that they only intended to bequeath this future to the rich and powerful. By the time I finally figured it out, the walls were closing in, Faro's machines were devouring the Earth. So I accepted Far Zenith's invitation to a berth on the Odyssey. I wanted Liz to come, but she had nobler plans, as you well know. So you didn't know the other Zeniths were monsters until it was too late? I, I knew some of them were, certainly. It, it wasn't until we were off planet that I understood the true scope of their greed. I was grateful to simply be alive, but 
The others became obsessed with a kind of effortless immortality. They built a colony where machines serviced their every need, where any memory or fantasy could be endlessly savored in virtual reality. It wasn't life. It was stultifying, a pampered dream state. As the decades passed, I withdrew more and more, alone yet again, but this time with eons to consider my mistakes. Now, finally, having met you, I feel like I have a second chance. To do what? Help you, of course. To fulfill Liz's dream, which isn't so different from Farzina's original vision. A better future for humanity. How do you know about Silence's plan? He isn't the only one adept at spyware. You hacked his focus? No, he's too careful for that. But his subordinates? <laughs> Not so much. He gave additional focuses to the tribals he branded the Sons of Prometheus. The ones working with Regala. By tapping their focuses, I learned about most of his dealings. The distribution of override technology, the arming of Tanakh rebels, and the secret pact with Regala to attack Gerard's base. But how did he come up with a weapon that can take down your shields? That's the one thing I haven't been able to figure out, but however he did it, I'm quite certain it will work. With it and the Tanakh army, victory seems to be within his grasp. Such a shame he'll be disappointed. Regala's only interested in killing Hakaro and waging war on the Karja. What does she have to gain by attacking Zenith? It's the price she must pay for her war. Without the ability to override machines, her little rebellion would have languished in the desert. So she trades with the Sons of Prometheus. Machines to help her overthrow Hikaru. In exchange for an assault on the base. Pride has deluded her into thinking she can actually survive such a battle. And all without ever knowing who the sons of Prometheus really answer to. Yet for all of Silence's brilliance, still he underestimates you. That blind spot is what will allow us to take Beta and Gaia right out from under him. While hundreds of Tanakh are cut down outside. So you knew Elizabeth. What was she like? Liz was everything she was. I see in you. And more. Your ingenuity, your determination, your moral compass. You've managed to distill her greatest qualities and make them your own. I'm not asking about me. Tell me about Elizabeth. What was she really like? The honest answer is that I don't actually know. For all the time that I spent with her, she always kept a part of herself locked away. It was like that from the moment we met. So when you met Elizabeth, she was, what, distant, aloof? Not aloof, not exactly. It was a summit in Paris about machine learning, a touchy subject in those days, because regulatory authorities were just starting to clamp down on AIs. Liz gave the keynote address. She had already achieved great renown for her work in automated environmental reclamation. But in her address, she was just starting to imagine the next step, an AI-driven system that wouldn't just act on its programming, but actually take responsibility for its sphere of influence. To care about life, not just follow orders. Revolutionary stuff. I was fascinated and I wanted to meet her for a long time. I watched her after her talk. She had spoken with such moral authority, such empathy. But after that, she retreated. I could tell she felt uncomfortable with all of her admirers. 
It was as if giving the talk had cost her something. I didn't want to be a pest, so I planned my approach carefully. So how did you finally approach Elizabeth after her talk? I picked the right moment. The morning of the next day, right as she came back to the conference, she had just had her coffee. She was fresh, rested. It was like she had braced herself for the onslaught of colleagues. I asked if I could walk with her, then put forth a question about her talk that I thought was intelligent. Her answer made me realize it wasn't, but she was very welcoming, almost as if we were previously acquainted. It was only halfway through the conversation that I realized she knew exactly who I was. It was quite a shock to me. My business was trafficking in secrets and I took great pains to protect my anonymity. So that was Liz, perpetually one step ahead. I came to view our meeting as a metaphor for our friendship. She always seemed to know me far better than I knew her. I guess I know the feeling. First Voral. Now Hikaru and the Tanakh. Your plan would wipe out an entire tribe. There has to be another way. We are in an admittedly desperate situation, but I assure you there isn't. Remember Zero Dawn. Elizabeth's sacrifice. Sometimes many have to die for a new world to grow. If it looks impossible, look deeper. Wait, the data channel. It still exists, doesn't it? I need you to open it. Let me talk to Beta. Impossible, we might be detected. It's worth the risk. There is another way, one where the Tanakh survive. But we won't. If the others- If you want to help, open it. What are they doing to her? Virtual reality dissociation. The manual merge of Hephaestus will take hours upon hours of tedious micromanagement. If she resists the work, they run simulations to induce feelings of isolation and despair. Beta, can you hear me? They're watching me. I, I, I can't hold up this extra projection for long. You should have killed me. No. No, look at me. I'm coming for you. I promise. Okay. I just need you to hold out a little while longer and work on the merch. again when it's time. Can you hold on? As long as I know you're coming for me, I can endure anything. Yeah. 
All right. I did as you asked. Now I think you need to tell me what you're planning. I'm going to take Silent's army away. I don't need it. Only the weapon he made to penetrate your shields. And how do you propose to get it? Ask him nicely? Without Regala and her rebels, he won't have a choice. We'll be his only option. Only option for what? What did you tell her? That is between me and my sister. We'll be Silent's only option for crashing that base. I'll tell you the rest later. But first, there are a couple of things I have to do. Oh. And what are those? Lay my friend to rest. And then I'm going to use the override that Beta gave me at Gemini to put an end to Regala's rebellion. From the air. Woo! Wait. Since you insist on doing things your way, I know of something that will truly help you make a grand entrance with the Tanakh. The ancient Horus Titans still possess electromagnetic energy cells as part of their arsenal. Drop one of those on Regala's army and they'll receive quite a surprise. So go, do what you must. I'll come to your base if you manage to bring silence to the table. Not if, when. I'll have to find more machine sites to get the parts I need. Oh, you want to get the Keluar dari mana? Yang tu. Ah. Oh ni. Out. Ah, Paul. Ah, no matter power. Ah, nasi metal flower. Oh ini. Now. Eh, pakan. Pum 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 pum.
Why cannot press travel? Gila, nggak bisa juga nggak bisa ini. Just to let you know, I'm now patched into your focus network. Great. I take it the other Zenus can't hear us? Of course not. And they don't know about your base either, in case you were wondering. I've sent you data on the Horus energy cells you can use against Regala's forces. Reach out to me when you're ready to acquire one. Understood. Mari kita bersedih-sedih Can I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Kotalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we going to do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that. So... After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths and get Beta and Gaia back. But first, we're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me a gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. 
Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I... need to be there. I know. Go. Stand with Akaro. And keep an eye on the sky. Strike true as the ten. The rest of you, whatever preparations you need to make, upgrades, resupplies, get on it. It won't be long before we take the fight to the Zenith. We'll be ready, Aloy. And when you're ready, meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We all are. Good. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. It sounded important. I thought you were gonna go fight some Tanakhs. I wanted to check in with you first. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just, you know, picking up the pieces like everyone else. I'll be there when you need me. I never doubted that. Oh, good. I'm glad you're back. So am I. I know you hate waiting, but you'll have to stay back here a little longer. Well, you go do what you gotta do, but uh, are you okay? It's not just Varl we lost. Beta's gone. I, mean, I almost lost it when I realized my sister had been taken by Durval back in the Sundom. I'm getting her back. That's all that matters. Understood. Do you think so we'll be okay? I don't think anyone's ever okay after losing the one they love. I can't tell you she's handling it better than I ever did. That keeps the rest of us level-headed. I need to get going. Uh, you better get there before Catalo tries to take on Regala's entire army by himself. Yeah, do me a favor. Don't go disappearing on us again. I'll do my best. You look busy. My studies are a good distraction. Especially after Cauldron Gemini. Varl, Beta, Gaia. Gone. And that's just the beginning. The Zeniths want to rob us of our future, too. We won't let that happen. Oh, and I wanted to give you this. For helping me get the data on Leviathan. I didn't really know what to give you, so I asked Zoe what you might like. Thanks, Alva. I'll put it to good use. So, all of the tribes here are new to you? Yes. I've been studying up on them. The most fascinating one thus far has been the Tanakht. An entire culture based on the holograms of an ancient museum. There's much they've misinterpreted. Not unlike the Quen. But still, there's a nobility to what they've become. They're honorable and fearless. And deadly. How are you holding up? Varl's loss is heavy on everyone's mind. I didn't know him well, but I can see how much he meant to the others. Zoe and Erend seem to have taken to it the hardest, but I don't quite know what to say to them. They need time to sort through it. And what about you? Will time heal your wounds? I don't know. I try not to think about it. Seems like everyone's ready to take the fight to the enemy. Catalo more than most. If I were this Regala, I wouldn't want to cross him on the battlefield. Regala still has a lot of machines on her side. That's where you come in, I suspect. If my plan works. Tilda, the Zenith that Beta mentioned, 
She was the one who rescued me. Did she say why? She knew Elizabeth Sobeck. Seems to think helping me is honoring her in some way. She was willing to share information on both Silence's plans and the other Zeniths. But you still don't trust her. Where I come from, the more valuable the knowledge shared, the higher the price extracted. I'd be careful if I were you, Aloy. Have you looked through the data we recovered on Leviathan? There is much to sort through still, but I believe we'll be able to get it operational and turn back the floods. And I've given more thought to everything we've uncovered about the Ancestors. The Overseers would have us believe they were infallible paragons. But Pharaoh wasn't. Not even close. His greed led to machines that devoured the world. The archive of the Old One's knowledge destroyed, just to erase his mistakes. So, when we learned that Eileen had a hand in covering up hundreds of deaths, I started to think they were all the same. Selfish, egotistical, cruel. But, in the end, it's not that simple. The truth isn't a straight line of ink on a crisp scroll. It's a splatter, smudged, and faded on stained parchment. I wish Morquen could see that, instead of looking the other way, or twisting the truth to serve their own schemes. I doubt Bohai would agree with you. No, nor the rest of the Board of Overseers. As Eileen said, it's easier to believe the lie is truth, but it's worth fighting for. And this Diviner, at least, won't settle for anything less. For that, I thank you, Aloy. I should get going. Be ready to go on my signal, okay? I won't let you down. I know. <sighs> when it looks impossible, look deeper. And then fight like you can win. I will, Rost. Now and always. Aww. So Silent's plan was to trick Regala into sacrificing her tribe in a hopeless battle against the Zenus. It's so heartless. Hikaru, Deka, Katalo, countless others. I won't let their lives be thrown away. Focus. It's for all time. I used to think no Nora would ever accept one. Before all did. Even when he was overwhelmed. He refused to let me push him away. I failed for all the Gemini. I should have pushed harder. I should have done more. I'd give anything to have him back. Feels empty in here without Gaia. Ah, say. Ah, so look feel it. Unlocked now. The guy had gone. Various things. Oh. Well, I. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. 
boy. If you were listening to this, then, um, things didn't go as planned at Gemini. I know you'll keep your promise. Which means I must be dead. Well, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? But a uh, lot's happened since you found me in that ectogenic chamber. Thank you, Aloy. You've been... my shelter. And I would risk it all again. To be by your side. I know you'll find a way forward. That's what you do. I'm sorry, Beta. But I'm getting you back, no matter what it takes. Anjay, lagunya juga dibuat melankolis gitu kan? Serius, bi. Pasifar bisa langsung lemah. Let's go. Oh no. Over here, Aloy. We would come out here to tend to the garden. Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times we would simply sit and watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. He can always look out at plain song and further east to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but. Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy. But I tracked down the flower. Gathered its seeds. As new life so it is with the land and so it is with us yeah I'm with child Eloy. I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini instead one day I'll bring our child here 
will sit among the blooms. Mana. I never got to tell him. To thank him. For saving my life, sure, but also... For not giving up on me. He always knew. Oh, fuck. Ah. Goodbye, Farl. I promise to look after them. If the Banu I'll try to visit again when I can. For now, I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on my spear. Then I'll use it on a sunwing and get ready for an entrance Regala will never forget. Let's make it up. those plants for you. Oh? I just know they meant a lot to you and, uh, I, well. Thank you, Aaron. Think you can manage things here while I go help Akaro? Stopping Regala's war. It'll help us take the fight to the Zeniths? Yes. Then I'll make sure the rest of us are ready upon your return. Okay. We'll be facing Spectre drones soon. Aaron and Catalo have fought them before, so... I already asked them to run us through some combat drills. Aaron moves like an oaf, but he's good with that hammer. How's Aaron doing? For a moment there, he thought he'd lost both you and Varl. But he never truly succumbed to despair. Guess that Asaram's stubbornness comes in handy sometimes. I know we both want to make the Zeniths pay for what they've done, but once we infiltrate their base, our priority will be to get Gaia and Beta out of there. Don't worry. I won't go seeking revenge like some blood-crazed Tanakh. Wherever your arrow strikes, mine will follow. Let's hope we hit our targets. I need to get going. Whatever you plan on doing against Regala, you better return to us in one piece. I'll try. Was there something else you needed? Appa. Tilda's the one who rescued me. Same one that spoke to Beta when none of the others would. Did she say why she saved you? She knew Elizabeth Sobek. But you s what a higher I'd be careful. Oh, the person? I'd be Appa kaya... Let's go! Shanling! All right. Override installed. Now to find a sunway. I no. think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. Let's go. Okay, huh. I need to find a sunway to override. Better head up the mountain. Ya mohon maaf banget kalau videonya agak panjang banget ya. Jadi gitulah. Hmm, karena gua nggak mau gua potong-potong ini edisi edisi epic ya. Sun wings up here. We'll have to approach them quietly. Hmm. 
Oh ho! Woo! Woohoo! Pata 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 mat. Eh sorry. Pata mat. All right, pata mat lagi. All right. No. This is it. No. I'm in the air. Holy, 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 holy wing! Woo! Ha ha! Woo hoo! The better, the better roll. Tap. Whoa! Whoa! Tilda, I'm in the air. Then you'll want to pick up an energy cell on one of the ancient Horus Titans. But first, you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the necessary software. To deploy it, you'll have to override one of the communication machines you refer to as Tolnex. There's one in the middle of the desert that should do nicely. On it. Arrowhand. I can see the whole village from up here. Maybe I should check in on it after I've dealt with Regala. Yoi! Eh, bisa tal naik ya? Memang tal naik. Aha! Go kill. There's a tonic. Need to get on top of its head. Oh, to slow down. Ada satu. Ah, that was so epic. Okay, Tilda, I've overridden the tall neck. Good, and the energy cells are now primed. Simply pick one up on Onwaris. The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machine should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you, I want to help. Mana ya?
Gua mau ke U uh, sini ya. Wing of Ten Gathering Horus Energy Call atau eh uh, uh, gua bingung gua kemana dulu. Kita ke ini aja kali ya. Ke Bulwok mana Bulwok? Bulwok mana Bulwok? Bulwok. Bulwok mana Bulwok? Nah, kita ke sini aja dulu yuk. Ayy <laughs> Anjay Kita ke bulwok pake burung Eh kan Gokil Hmm Thunder Jaw nih Oh, gua harus kesini dulu. Semut banyak banget, kayak. Gigitin jari gue Iya lah, sini epic banget. I 
It's Aloy. She flies in the wings of the ten. The tide has turned. Push through. Oh. Now on your knees, and I'll give you the death you didn't have the spine to give me. They're down! The machines! All of them! They're down! What? How's that possible? Regala! Damn! Enough bloodshed! Let's settle this. You and me. Easy to say when you're on top of a machine. Well, that was just to get your attention. I don't need any help to take you down. Fine. I accept your challenge. And once I'm done with you, I'll get to finish the slaughter. We'll see about that. The duel is set. Let none interfere. Uh-oh. Blum, 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 blum. Outfit class ganti. Gue taruh protector, mah. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Udah, apa-apa apa ha Ugh. <sighs> 
Gah! Apaan? Hah? Apaan sih? Wah nggak jelas game ini sumpah. Hah? Apaan? Gah! Wah anjir nih orang yang ngotot banget Oke okay. Gue akan pause dulu Oke okay, lanjut Gue ambil darah dulu deh Bentar ya Bentar Apaan dia bisa ngeliat gue? Oh gitu. Udah cukup. Ah. Oh, tadi mainnya melempar-lemparan. Allah apaan itu Berasakan ini Hah? Rasakan ini challenged her by our rights you must decide her fate i spared her once but it only made things worse she was the best of my marshals what a waste she's dangerous all right but maybe that's exactly what i need cowards what more do you have to conspire about Whether you live or die.
I'm not here to forgive you for your crimes. But there's another battle ahead. Against an enemy more powerful than anything you can imagine. And I need people. A squad. That's willing to do whatever it takes. I don't want your mercy. It's not mercy. The battle I'm talking about... We'll be charging into a nightmare. A better death than this? Yes. My blood is yours. Your enemies are mine. Meet us at our stronghold, in the mountains near Plainsong. You mean to send her alone? Without even an armed guard? She does not. I will be there. You have my word. I'll hold you to it. Chief, there's something you both need to see. In the throne room. surrendered to our guards outside the grove. Claims he has an urgent message for the outlander who defeated Regala. So, stated. It's for her alone. From an interested party. I'm gonna need some privacy. Clear the room. Put him with the rest of Regala's soldiers. I'll see you back at base. You saved the tribe. Let me help you with your mission. No. With Regala gone, you have a chance to build the future you dreamed of. So get to your task. Then at least allow me to give you this. Armor for the battle ahead. May it keep you safe. Thank you. Oh, armor! Pleasure to see you too, Silence. Congratulations on your victory. You saved the Tanakh for a few weeks. Unfortunately, you doomed the entire planet as well. Wrong. I don't need a Tanakh army to defeat the Zenus. Oh, Eloy. Have you learned nothing about the enemy we're up against? More than you, hiding whatever hole you found. My idea is just better than anything you ever came up with. No, not here. We're doing this my way. Face to face, and with the weapon you've developed. And why would I agree to that? Because I'm your only way of beating the Zeniths, and getting the copy of Apollo that's on their ship. So meet me at my base. Mountains west of Plainsong. Time to submit to the inevitable silence and follow the person who actually knows what she's doing. Don't be late. Tilda, you there? I did it. Silence is on board. So head to my base. Impressive. I'll be there as soon as I can. Now that I can fly, I might want to see what else I can do before I head back. Send up straight, Cavill. So, Aloy. You've added yet another deed to your name. And I'm guessing by the look in your eyes that you're not done yet. Not quite. Is there anything we can do? We owe you that much. 
After everything you've been through, you're one of the best people to support Hikaru's bid for peace. Not just between the clans, but with the Karja too. And I will. You have my word. And until my last breath, I'll make sure the tribe remembers all that you've done for us. Different from those that roam the visions of the desert oh, is grateful, and their secrets. Always. The flame of the desert now flies on the wings of the ten. Will wonders never cease? I thought you wanted to stay neutral. In the end, I decided that if you thought Hakara was worth fighting for, then that was good enough for me. I'm honored. The honor is mine. Heading over to train. I hope you know what you're doing. Sparing Morgala caused this mess to begin with. The chaplains will preach of this battle for as long as the tribe lives on. The chaplains will preach of this battle for as long as the tribe lives on. And so the wings of the Ten found us when things were at their direst. I'm not some legend come to life, Chitaka. That may be, but we will always be in your debt. So, Hikaru keeps his head and control the tribe. You were there? Dakote, thought you'd be back at the bulwark. Let it be known that the Sky Clan defended the grove today, as hopeless a battle as it was, until you flew in on the wings of the Ten, that is. We are in your debt. You fought for your tribe, so your debt is paid. On your way, then. Daybreak victory. I know From where we're going to lie. The wings you've of got to admit it's an impressive feat. You've wrecked up a lot of demons, haven't you? You soared on the wings of the ten outlander. We had more souls than the ten. Hmm, pada ngomongin aloe terbang. Oke, burung. Wah, itu dia video gua kali ini agak panjang, agak panjang, panjang banget, dua jam lebih. So anyway itu aja yang bisa gue sampaikan Bukan itu aja Tapi selebihnya <laughs> Jika kalian suka dengan video gue kali ini Tolong berikan like dan komen Dan subscribe Jangan lupa untuk berikan like And comment And subscribe and share video ini Jika kalian mau Thank you for, thank you for watching And we will see you in the next video My name is Suski I say goodbye I did my prime Bye 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 bye